Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Unity. Today we are going to see how to get the mouse position in both Unity's old input system and new input system. Now if you have already subscribed to my channel, you would have seen that I have uploaded this video earlier. That video had some noise issues, so I am re-uploading it. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the mouse position using the Unity's input system and then convert that into the world's position and spawn a cube in that position so now let's first create a prefab so let's add a 3d object cube to our scene and drag and drop that cube to the project window so now we have a cube prefab so we can delete that from the hierarchy then let's create an empty game object this will have the mouse script so let's call it mouse test and then let's add a new component and let's call this as mouse position it's a new script so let's create an add now let's open the script in visual studio for editing First, we need a public game object uh, which will be a cube. Then we need a vector 3 which will be the mouse position. Then we need one more vector 3 that will be the mouse world position. The reason we need uh, two vector 3 is the initial mouse position that the unity input system senses is basically the screen coordinates so you have to convert that screen coordinate into your game world's position so that's why we are using the second vector 3 now we don't require the start so let's delete that in the update uh, we don't want to get the mouse position every frame that will be very performance expensive so we'll get the mouse position only when the mouse left button is pressed so first let's go if input dot get mouse button down sorry down and zero is for left button uh, one is for right button and two is for the mouse middle button so if the left button is pressed then we are going to say our mouse position is equal to input dot mouse position now since screen is a 2d space this input dot mouse position has only x and y coordinate and z is some arbitrary value so you don't want to have some arbitrary value in the z axis so let's set our own value to that so mouse position dot z equal to uh, most of the time if you don't know what to set then you can just say camera dot main dot near clip plane so this will give you the minimum viewable distance of the camera so it's basically a position near the camera or you can just set some value like 3 or 4 so the position that it returns will be at a depth where you want it okay so now we have set the z-axis so now we have to convert this to world position so we are going to say mouse world position is equal to camera dot main dot screen to world point and then we're going to pass the mouse position so this converts the mouse position to world position now let's instantiate our object so let's go instantiate so cube and the position will be mouse world position and it will we are not going to rotate it so quaternion dot identity so that's it our script is done and we don't need these two using statements so let's delete them save the script go to unity first let's go ahead and select the mouse test game object and assign our cube prefab so drag and drop the cube prefab to the cube game object now let's play the game so if I click on the screen, a cube is instantiated and as you can see the X and Y position are based on where I clicked on the screen. 
and the z position is basically the camera position subtracted by the near clip plane of the camera so let's go to the camera so camera is at minus 10 and the clipping plane near value is 0.3 so that's why the cube's position is minus 9.7 so this is how you can get the mouse position in the Unity's old input system. Now let's see how to do the same with the Unity's new input system. Now to use the new input system, you have to install it. So you have to go to Window, Package Manager, and make sure Unity Registry is selected. Then search for Input System, and you have to install it. There will be an Install button here. Since I have already installed it, you will get an Install button. And once the input system is installed, the Unity editor will restart. And once your editor is restarted, then you don't have to do anything in the editor. You just have to change your code. So let's go back to Visual Studio. And here you have to add using Unity Engine dot input system. Then these variables will remain same our input dot get mouse button zero will change to mouse dot current dot left button dot was pressed this way and your input dot mouse position will change to mouse dot current dot position dot read value now we have used the new input system to get the mouse position so let's go back to unity and let's play the game so if i click on the screen a cube is instantiated and as you can see the xy position is based on the mouse click and the z is based on what we have assigned so that's it now it's your turn to try out if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below and this code samples are available on Vinix studio so you can get it from there See you in the next tutorial. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.